Hello, everybody, and welcome to this episode of Soups On. It is now 2020. Happy New Year, everybody. We're here today with Dr. Gooden and Mr. Bob Rizzo. Welcome. How are you guys doing today? Uh, great. Thanks. Good. Good to see you, Andrew. Yeah, you too. Did you guys have a nice break? Very nice break. Much needed. Good. Time off is always needed. Absolutely. So, as you can see, we're in the studio. Normally, we're out in the community, out in different locations, but today, I wanted to bring us back here to the basics. We just got this new furniture donated from Corbett. Oh, I now, tell us a little, what's, what's uh, the Corbett Center? Uh, you said you, the donation came from the Corbett Center? Yeah, so the Corbett Center has, they create furniture that's more modern and for, for classrooms, for anything kind of really technologically advanced. Um, they have a lot of standing desks and kind of contemporary furniture. And we've been there before for meetings. Um, yeah. We've had meetings out there, and they've offered for our students to come and film a little bit there, too. Um, they're just really great people to work with. And Aaron Crew reached out, and they had donated some furniture for us. We went out there, and we actually filmed a furniture hunter's show, kind right. of like house hunters. Right. And we went through three different types of furniture, and we picked this one. Okay. And, and, and we put that on RCTV, that little yeah. segment? I'll put okay. a little bit in right now. I'll show some of the video. Hello everybody and welcome to Furniture Hunters. Today, me, Merge, and Aaron are going to decide and find what kind of furniture that we need in this studio. First, we're going to talk to Merge, see what the kids need, see what the studio needs, and then from there, we're going to go to Corbett and we're going to actually look at the different options that Corbett has so graciously donated to Ram Country TV, and we get to take one home. I'm Cheryl Merja, and I have been the broadcasting teacher here at Springford High School for over 20 years. The first year that the building opened, the studio was not completed. And then the following year, we were able to uh, get it fully up and running. But we, through the years, got a lot of hand-me-downs. Uh, when the library was getting rid of furniture, we got it. When the auditorium was getting rid of an audio board, we got it. So through the years, we've been budgeting all of our money towards the best technology. And we've sort of foregone the whole look, the whole visual, the whole aesthetic aspect of what the studio looks like when the kids are set up to do interviews and whatnot. OK, Aaron, so. We saw all our three options. Right. What do you think about option one? I think option one, the egg chair. Option three was the sort of static furniture with the movable tables, bright colors, static. What did you think of that? I really liked it because of the flexibility with the, the stuff in the middle. You can take part of it off. You can change the colors. We skipped over option two. Option two were those really cool chairs that you could sit sort of any direction. Right. So let's go into some events that are coming up. Vex Robotics, that might be your favorite event. It's right up there. Yeah, it's a good event. We have, Excellent I think event. we just checked the number. I think we have 60 teams so far signed up to come. Um, yeah. That's February 15th. Yep. Um, really exciting event. The kids love it, and it just brings a lot of communities to here and to see what we can offer at Springford. Yeah, I would, I would estimate by the time that the the, the show comes along, the competition happens, we'll have well over 70 teams uh, competing. And those teams, what they've done is they get a certain uh, task or problem that they have to try to solve. And, um, and so they spend all their time as a team building their robot you know, to meet the criteria of the, of the task. And then they do the competition. And uh, it's an all day event, great event. Um, we do it, uh, we've done it in years past over the ninth grade uh, gym and uh, always well attended, and uh, it's a great event. I'm usually the MC there, so if you stop by this year, you'll hear a lot of me. My voice is usually gone by the end of the day, but it's a great day. The Vex Robotics Vex voice. Vex Robotics, yes. yes. I'll be there wearing both hats, probably. My son's, my son's gonna be one of the Vex Robotics team, so. Awesome. Yeah. Well, good luck to him. We'll see him there. Yeah, sounds good. Speaking of Vex technology, yeah. we were just rated one of the top 5,000 STEM high schools in the country. And that number is out of 30,000 right. in, the in the country. Right. And that's pretty exciting. What are yeah. some of the programs that we offer here other than VEX that really put us over the edge? Well, I, you know, as we've just mentioned the VEX uh, program and, and it, is, it is well attended and we have lots of teams that, that compete. But uh, to me, a lot of this came about with the uh, insertion of uh, project lead to weight courses or engineering courses here at the high school. And those have gone extremely well and um, have been very popular with students. 
and uh, as they go through the sequence of courses that are part of that program. And so that really started us on this whole idea of, of really focusing on um, uh, the STEM aspects of education, the hands-on learning, uh, the focus on math and, and science and technology. And, and uh, so that was really, we brought uh, Project Lead the Way in at the high school. And then subsequently, uh, a few years later, we were able to put in a program at the uh, elementary level uh, that we call our um, RamQuest. And uh, that's where our students actually go in and, and they do <coughs> STEM-related activities. Uh, and so that happens in the elementaries. And then at the middle level, uh, we really focus on, uh, you know, the technology aspect of, of what kids are doing and how they're learning and, and trying to combine the science and the math. So it's, it's kind of a K through 12 uh, continuum of a program and the focus, and, and it's, it's, it's a nice uh, recognition uh, for, the, for the school district. But it's, you know, while the high school has been singled out, it's built upon a foundation of everything happens um, uh, in the earlier grades. And so we see that manifest uh, here at the high school level uh, through, as I said, the, the Project Lead the Way courses, our VEX robotics competitions, and the whole emphasis upon the STEM-related courses uh, as part of our curricular offerings. And so um, it's been going well, and we're, you know, we're pleased to, to be recognized. And that shows the dedication of our staff. It surely our does. Our administration, our students, our teachers. That really, that's pretty cool. Surely does. So we'll transition a little bit. Um, our band... Um, they just had their concerts, our band, our orchestra, and our chorus. Um, how were they? they? I think they went pretty well. We had, we had our Ram Country TV, we had live streamed them, um, we had plenty of views. It really turned out well, and our, those programs are excelling right now. Uh, well, they, they truly are, and, and one of the, uh, one of the uh, very positive uh, parts of uh, school life here is, is our music program. Um, and uh, we've been watching that for years. Now what's interesting is Mr. Rizzo here is a former band director. And so uh, not only is he a former band director, and so he's very knowledgeable about you know, our program, but he also, his own children are in the program as well. So, he... Well, I, one of the things I loved is how many concerts there were. I mean, there was a concert, what, every night, I think, for a few weeks, mm -hmm. which is, <coughs> excuse me, which was, which was really exciting. And I, I got to see all levels of, of, the of the ensembles that are out there, and every bit had a very high quality to it. Uh, we saw brass ensembles at the choral concert. We saw, um, you know, the man one of the band trip. We talked about that. I don't know if that's part of your agenda or not, but the band trip was pretty successful, and uh, uh, a lot of awards were won there. Just the quality is just phenomenal for our students. And now, how many awards about, did they come back with? I want to say they came back with five of six. They were grand champions in five of six categories, I wow. think, something like that. Uh, and fortunately, um, you know, with technology being what it is today, we were able to kind of follow along with their journey all the way through. So it was our first time sending the twins on a band trip. It was, and it was also our first time experiencing a spring forward trip. And, uh, and Seth Jones and his team did a fantastic job of pulling it all together and, and really putting together a, a premium product. Awesome. And all this success ties right into our new expansion. Yeah. They, now, they now have this great sized band room fit for them, um, the fitness area. Um, I think soon kids are going to start to go in, right? They are. <coughs> the, uh, we're currently finishing up the elevator portion of the uh, fitness area, and it is now open, and, uh, and they're scheduling, uh, scheduling classes in there, and teams are going in, and, and so it's certainly going to be a, a welcome addition to our physical education program, uh, both uh, during the day and, and afterward, and, you know, extracurricularly. Um, so it's a strong component, and uh, the 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 uh, performing arts facility. Not a, it's it's more than just a big band room, uh, which we certainly needed a larger f a space for that. But the amount of storage for instrument storage, uh, uh, the the storage of our uh, uh, uniforms, band uniforms, we have all that now. Uh, we have pl uh, a f place where we can actually build sets uh, for the for our theater productions. And so, uh, you know, the board was very, uh, they, they were far seeing uh, in, in, as far as meeting that particular need for us. And uh, so I think it, it will only help to improve the quality of our programs, uh, our extracurricular programs um, uh, in, in the future. So we're, we're excited about that. But yeah, all 
they're all, all, all two, you know, both spaces are up and running. Uh, the mega hallway, uh, I'm not sure what the kids are calling it, uh, <laughs> uh, but uh, we, have a, we had to put on a, a corridor addition that is uh, expansive and, and very white. Yes. And uh, it's so it's blinding it's when you go in. It's bright in there. Yeah, it's the light bright. coming in there is outstanding. Yep, yep, a lot of light, but a nice big corridor for students to move. Um, so yeah, it, it, the project went well. Good. And so other things that are expanding, the communications department has just created a podcast. Mm -hmm. I believe you two were guests. Is that what we were doing? I think that was. How was that experience? What did you? I, I what did thought you... we were just talking to us. That's pretty much what it was. Uh, it, it was a great experience, it exactly, that's exactly what it was. It was just like sitting down having a conversation and uh, you did throw us a couple of curveballs, uh, uh, you know, a couple of curveball questions, but uh, yeah, it was a great event. That's what our community wants to hear though, they want those curveball questions. Yeah. I got all dressed up for it, you know. And, <laughs> and you weren't even yeah, on camera. Yeah, right, right. Um, no, I think, you know, I think any way that we can get the good word out about what we're doing here at Spring Forward, I think is important. And, you know, podcasts are relevant there today, and people want to take a few minutes and hear what's happening, so mm -hmm. we're happy to participate in that because, again, it's another avenue for us to share our information. Yeah, and you can find those on Spotify, Apple, I think Stitcher has it. Um, make sure you go on, subscribe to our podcast, give us a nice review, five stars only. Get that information out there. Um, so we'll transition to you, Mr. Rizzo, sure. for a little bit here. New assistant <coughs> superintendent. It's, we're coming up on midterms. Um, how has this year started off for you? For me personally, it started off great. I got to, I got to introduce to a whole lot of really, really nice people, uh, very knowledgeable, um, very caring. Uh, I've met a lot of people. I'd like to say I remember all their names, but I don't. Uh, but what has, um, what has really rung true is everybody's care for those that they take care of. Um, whether you're a building principal taking, you know, being responsible for your staff and your students, or a teacher responsible for a classroom of students, Everybody cares about each individual child. We, we had a session yesterday on social emotional learning. We had our core team pulled together, and that's the one thing that I think really was, really resonated throughout the whole several hours was, you know, us recognizing each student as an individual and how we can reach them individually. So I'm very excited about that. Uh, my kids, you know, like, like anybody else, whenever you transition to a new district, a new area, uh, there's, you hit bumps in the road, and they all hit their own bumps in the road at different times. But Every one of them have said this is the right place to be, and they're really happy that they're here right now. So uh, that's a success. That's, that's one in the W column for the Rizzo family. Awesome. So then my last question for the show, what has inspired you or impressed you the most this year since coming here? Oh, it impressed me the most? Yeah. I've got to be really good at what I do because you'll all figure me out if I'm not. I mean, there's, there's such a high level of excellence in every aspect of what we do here at Springford that I've got to bring my A game each and every day. And uh, I'm just impressed with, uh, with the level of the quality, uh, the quality of everything, of every program, whether it's, um, whether it's um, athletics or whether it's academics or, um, or, or the music program or the theater program. It's all really good. And, uh, and even though you're a really big district, um, you really cater to the individual, and that's just that's very special to me. Awesome. Well, I appreciate you guys both taking time to come on for me. Thank yeah, you, Andrew. Thanks. It's fun for us. All right. Thank you, everybody, for watching today, and thank you, Dr. Dr. Gooden and Mr. Rizzo, and we'll see you next time on Soup's On.